Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about peace in your heart. So I have three scriptures that are talking about the subject. First scripture I'd like to share is John 16, John 16 verse 18. If the world hates you, know that it hated me first. When the world judges you and the world doesn't want anything to do with you, that's a good thing. Be at peace about that. Don't let this world tell you that you're doing wrong um, or that you're not saved. Because the truth is you are saved. Just the very fact that this world hates you, just like, just like it says it'll hate you, it's a good sign. Be at peace about that because you're going somewhere. You're going up there. I'm enthusiastic about that. I'm just saying it's exciting where you're going. Because you're doing good things. You're doing good. You're making, f you're, you're growing fruit. You're growing fruit of righteousness. And that is more important than having friends in this world or um, being liked by this world. Just remember that. This world may hate you. But just like the song says, you're famous in Jesus who is God's eyes. And it's only because he loves you very much. All right, second scripture. John, John 15, verse 6. If ye do not abide in me, then you are like a branch that is cut off and tossed away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you turn away from Jesus and you you continue to live a life of sin, then and just get this, the world will pay more attention to you. That's not a good sign. That's not anything to be at peace about. The Bible says that you're like a branch that is thrown away and withers and cast to the fire. You don't want to be in that category when rapture happens, when the tribulation is going to start. You don't want to be the one that is left behind. You don't want to be the one that... Sorry. You don't want to be the one that lost salvation. Actually, you know what? We can't lose our salvation. But we can turn away. We can fall away. And you don't want to fall away. You may know people that have fallen away. And you may know that um, if you have fallen away. If you haven't fallen away, that's good. Keep on going. Don't be like these people that are withering and will soon be cast into the fire. You don't want to be like the world. Don't be... In fact, um, it even says, don't be like the world. But be, be, ren but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's what it says. So... Take that to heart because we're in a time where people are choosing sin over Jesus. They need to they need to wake up. They need to know that God loves them. They need to know that there that there is only one way to be saved. And that is through putting your faith and trust in Jesus. There is no other way. So stop trying to put effort into your own works. Put effort into that relationship because that is important. And it's only through that relationship that we get into heaven. We don't get into heaven by our own works. 
and people who put their trust in their works don't put their trust into that relationship. It's one or the other. Can't do both. Can't be double-minded about it. Let's just think about that. All right, third and final scripture, John 17, verse 23. Hey, so today I'm going to be talking about peace in your heart. So I have three scriptures that are talking about the subject. First scripture I'd like to share is John 16, John 16, verse 18. If the world hates you, know that it hated me first. When the world judges you and the world doesn't want anything to do with you, that's a good thing. Be at peace about that. Don't let this world tell you that you're doing wrong um, or that you're not saved because the truth is you are saved. Just the very fact that this world hates you, just like, just like it says it'll hate you, it's a good sign. Be at peace about that because you're going somewhere. You're going up there. I'm enthusiastic about that. I'm just saying it's exciting where you're going because you're doing good things. You're doing good. You're making, f you're, you're growing fruit. You're growing fruit of righteousness. And that is more important than having friends in this world or um, being liked by this world. Just remember that. This world may hate you, but just like the song says, you're famous in Jesus who is God's eyes. And it's only because he loves you very much. All right, second scripture. John 17, verse 23. I in them, and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and the world may know that you have sent them and have loved them just as you have loved me. Jesus wants us to have peace about ourselves. He wants that peace in our hearts. He doesn't, he doesn't want us to wander and be fearful and just um, conform to the ways of this world just because they say that we're not good or we're not doing the right thing. We don't need to fall into the trap of trying to be perfect. And because if we listen... If we fall, we try to be perfect and we fall into sin and it takes us through crazy routes, makes us think crazy things, then we're going to be, we're going to be lost. We're going to be lost in our own minds. We're not going to have a clear mind to share the word. But if you focus, if you ha let that peace flow in your heart, then there's nothing there's nothing too big and there's nothing that is too hard in other words if you if you put your trust in Jesus who's God then there's nothing that you can't accomplish just remember that i'm talking to you guys I'm saying right now that you can do anything if you put your trust in Jesus. You can overcome those mountains. You can cross those valleys. You can get through if you just put your faith and trust in our Father Jesus. And, and let us not forget that Jesus is God of the universe.
All right, I hope you got some nice guys. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel for more. And those cooking videos will soon be on the way. See you later, guys.